If there's one question I get asked every single day, it's how do I load your AUV3 plugins into GarageBand? Now if you're one of those asking the same question, this video is for you. Now I think to many it's not obvious how to load these AUV3 plugins, so uh, if you look at the top of the toolbar, you'll see three small fader icons. Uh, it looks like a little mini mixer, so if you press that button you'll see a little slide out effects panel. Now in the centre of this effects pane is a button called Plugins and EQ, you need to press that. This displays a list of effects that are enabled for the current instrument. Now press Edit. In my case you can see four blank effect slots. So press one. And up will pop a list of effects. But it's not the inbuilt effects we want, it's the AUV3 effects, so press the second tab. Now you can scroll through the list and select one of the AUV3 effects you've got on your system. Now the effect is enabled and working, you can tap on the item to view and change the effect parameters. Here you can see I've loaded an instance of Shimmer Reverb. To remove the effect, press the same toolbar button you used to open up the effect pane in the first place. Uh, press the edit button and then press the little red delete button to the left of the effect and finally press delete. Now the effect has been removed. Job done. Now if you found this video useful, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.